Hi, I'm Holly with The Holly Jolly Life. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make my own hand soap. I have eczema, I have, um, I have mixed connective tissue disease and lupus and my skin breaks out a lot, specifically my hands, specifically if I use any type of alcohol or if I use um, any kind of like scented soap or um, a scented type of hand sanitizer or hand sanitizer with alcohol in it. Even my um, hand sanitizer that I use also causes my hands to get really dry and break out, but it's it does it less. It's like the lesser of all the evils. And I used hand sanitizer before Corona ever happened because I'm just prone to upper respiratory infections anyways and the flu. So anytime I went anywhere, I would just go ahead and sanitize my hands never left the store. I used to use alcohol spray then I made my own with essential oils and then now I use um, Baby Ganix and Baby Ganix I use the fragrance free ba Baby Ganix hand sanitizer and just get it on Amazon I'm not affiliated or anything I'm just telling you what works for me I also use a steroid cream called the Soxy um, every day I'm not supposed to use it every day but I do because my um, hands this is the best they've looked in a long time I'm um, still broke out right here and right here and on the side of my hand right here and right here and um, my right hand breaks out much worse than my left hand but it's broke out over here I get broke out on around the cuticles a lot but I make my soap and use it at home and that really helps and I also wash our vegetables with this and it is um, just Dove sensitive soap. I mix it with almost a gallon of water. I take three of these and shred them. I shred them with a box grater and then add them to a pot. And I put almost a gallon of water in there, all the water that will fit in my pot, and I cook it for seven minutes, just heat it for seven minutes, but not to a boil, and then add three tablespoons of glycerin, and it makes a cheap, easy, fragrance-free, sensitive hand soap. So I hope that that helps you. I don't know if you have um, eczema problems or uh, know somebody that does and they haven't found anything that works with them. Even Castile soap is sometimes um, very drying to me, but this has really helped. So. Anyway, I hope that helps you. So all this soap has been grated and just put in here in some water and you just mix it up and let that heat for seven minutes. You're not really trying to bring it to a boil. You just want the pieces to be melted in there evenly. So it's been seven minutes and it looks like this. And the next thing that we're going to do is add medical grade glycerin. It has to be medical grade glycerin. Three tablespoons of this. And we've turned off the heat. One tablespoon and we're not gonna really mix this in. Two tablespoons. I went ahead and took the whisk out and this is the third tablespoon and we're just going to kind of make sure that we get it all in there. But I didn't even go to the bottom with this. And we're just going to cover it and let it set for 24 hours. I'll show you what it looks like tomorrow. I'm going to try not to make a mess while I'm doing this. I'm just filling up one of my soap dispensers. There we go. Just 
see, and that didn't take a whole lot either. And now my soap dispenser's filled up. Just wanted to show the consistency. See? It makes a good enough lather and it doesn't irritate my skin. You can add essential oils to it if you want, but I, um, it irritates one of my daughter's hands whenever I add lavender or jasmine to it, so I just don't add any essential oils. Okay, so I'm just going to be um, pouring this into the gallon. This is just the gallon that I reuse every time I make soap. And I sometimes I put essential oils in here. Sometimes I use jasmine. Sometimes I use lavender. But that has been irritating mine and my daughter's hands lately. So we are just going to just do straight, straight dove sensitive skin. I've already filled up my um, soap dispenser for the kitchen. And I use regular, um, I use regular dish soap for the dishes, but I wear gloves. This is just for my hands. go and if you add what I poured into my kitchen dispenser it'd probably be filled right about here so it's about it usually makes about three-fourths of a gallon <clears throat> thank you for watching this video and for making today a holiday <laughs>